Hey, how's it going? This is Marty Kokish. Here's a, a response to a uh, uh, one of my YouTube videos where I talked about removing the uh, uh, the heater unit of the MGB, and uh, uh, the the reply was something along the lines of, uh, uh, you know, I can feel uh, 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 the hot coolant feels like it's coming through one end but not coming out the other. The heater isn't working. But I guess the first question I'd have is um, uh, when you flip the switch, does it sound like the blower's running? So um, do you hear the fan come on? Does any hot air or anything come out? Um, if no, it could be, could be a bad, bad uh, electrical connection to your blower, or it could be the bad blower. Um, <clears throat> I think one way to test it would just be to uh, uh, unplug it. Um, the, the electrical connection and just uh, hook up like a 12 volt battery or something to these leads see if it runs um, if not then uh, uh, you most likely have a bad um, bad motor and <clears throat> uh, there's a couple different uh, places online like I think Moss Motors, Victoria British uh, both sell replacement motors you get one there I think they're about 130 bucks um, and uh, yeah, and you can kind of do that without having to remove the heater assembly from there. Um, if there's actually a, a, a clog in the radiator here, um, it's basically all the heater core is. It's just a little radiator that goes here, and uh, the coolant passes uh, through these uh, these input and output uh, connections. And uh, <clears throat> if you get a clog of some sort in there. You could take an air compressor, um, pull the hoses up each side, you probably have a little bit of coolant drain out, but uh, not, a, not a whole lot, but uh, just try blowing it out with, uh, with a spigot on, it, on an air compressor and see if that clears it out. And if it does, then maybe uh, flush it out a little bit with a, uh, a garden hose or something. Um, and if it's, if it's pretty clogged up um, and that's not working for you, a um, couple different options. You could take it to, uh, uh, I don't know, I'd, I'd probably recommend taking it to, to a local shop or something and uh, seeing if they can use some sort of solvent or caustic uh, uh, liquid uh, to kind of soak it and clear it out. That, uh, uh, depending, I don't know how much that would cost or whatever, uh, but uh, you can also, Victoria British and uh, Moss Motors also sell just the heater core itself. I think that runs about 100 bucks. So, and with that, to replace that, you'd have to pull this assembly out, and then once you get it out, it's pretty straightforward. There's just these uh, clips around the sides that you can just pop off with like a, a flathead screwdriver or something. This uh, uh, that's it. this side flaps off, and this just pulls out. Um, throw your new one in, throw it back together. Uh, and that's, and that's, so, that, uh, if you're having flow issues, that might be that. There's one other thing, I think, and that might be the valve. Um, and that's, uh, this, this guy right down here, that, uh, you've got a hose that goes from here to the, uh, uh, the heater unit that would be sitting right there. And, uh, if you can see right here, this, this just opening and closes. And if say this is stuck or something like that, this isn't moving, um, that uh, that could be your problem as well. Um, and uh, maybe it's just an adjustment you need to make on that valve there. Um, uh, John Twist over at University Motors has a pretty good uh, video on that, so maybe I'll put a link to it on the on my response. So. But yeah, hope that solved your problem. All right, bye-bye.